Hello and welcome to part 3 of the VW Tesla swap on the 1973 VW Combi. We're going to see how we fit it in our Tesla batteries and Tesla motor into this EV conversion. It's been a while since our last update but let's go through what's been happening at the Traction EV workshop. Here it is up on the hoist looking all nice and shiny. Uh, we've got a lot happening underneath here so let's go through what's been done recently. We've got 14 Tesla modules, battery modules fitted in underneath and in the back engine bay. We've got the small rear Tesla motor fitted to, the, to drive the rear wheels, which will take place of the old VW gearbox. So we have no manual transmission and full direct drive. So we've got 75 kilowatt hours of batteries and a 220 kilowatt or roughly 300 horsepower Tesla rear motor all mounted underneath the VW box and uh, nothing inside the interior. Uh, what else we've we been doing? Well, we've wired it all up. All the HV, LV, 12 volt wiring is all completed. We've got new shocks. Uh, we've got the cooling system for the battery and the motor. Uh, air conditioning um, from front to back here. We, we're starting to recondition the brakes and steering. Uh, we've got the middle central battery box on the side. We've got condensers and radiators for the air conditioning and cooling system. The Tesla motor mounted there with a custom motor mount and a rear battery box. Coming around to the side, we've got the AC charging port in the place of the old fuel filler. And in the back engine lid area, you can see the lid is off the high voltage junction box and the charter mode DC charger is also in the back there behind the engine lid. So that means we have 6.6 .6 kilowatt AC onboard charging and rapid DC charging as well. Look forward to testing that out on the public charging network and seeing how fast we can refill that 75 kilowatt hour pack. Inside here we've still got a lot of work to do obviously interior insulation in the cavities in the walls uh, all the carpeting and upholstery etc but what we're seeing here is uh, our air conditioning system if you look closely tucked in underneath the glove box area is our Queensland designed air condition system what's called the climate changer designed and built here in Queensland by speed yes bears it's a heating and cooling air conditioning system made it to a high voltage air conditioning compressor. It is a dual zone, so we have an evaporator and blower box up the front, which you see, and also another evaporator hidden behind the rear seat. Uh, there's no batteries or any other electric vehicle conversion equipment hindering the interior of the rear, just that air conditioning system, so we'll have nice cool air flowing through the rather large cabin space. So yeah, lots more work on the interior, but we've really been focused on trying to get the drivetrain installed and completed and all the high voltage wiring and low voltage wiring. Uh, so this is the combi dropped on, on the ground now. We'll probably get some couple inches dropped at the front with some drop spindles just to level it out. Uh, you'll see walking around that the interior isn't doesn't have any high voltage wiring or battery boxes uh, so we've got a, an open slather to do the interior fit out which is what I wanted as part of the uh, design of this EV conversion. Coming through to the driver's area we've got a now nice big new mahogany steering wheel installed and we've just mocked up the positioning of our three custom made speed hut gauges which uh, are in a nice traditional VW style uh, needles and fonts but with some custom charged garage graphics on the gauge faces. They are CAN bus controlled and they'll give us the EV specific information like power, regen, battery state of charge and temperatures of the motors and batteries as well as a uh, GPS speedo. Uh, so we've just mocked them into position at the moment while we work out a custom gauge cluster holder. And just one final note on the Tesla Model X 100 that donated its batteries and motors to this 
VW conversion. It's finally been stripped down of everything that was of any worth and has been scrapped, chopped up, scrapped and recycled at the steel and aluminium recyclers. Here's some pictures of it just before it met its final fate. So we definitely salvaged and upcycled as much of that Tesla wreck as we possibly could. Another interesting aspect of this conversion is how we get power to the ground from the Tesla motor. We're using a mixture of OEM aftermarket specialist parts and custom fabricated parts such as these VW2930 custom fab stub axles. Then we're using some VS Commodore heavy duty drive shafts which connect to the 0EV930 patterned Tesla drive shaft stumps and into the Tesla motor. Yeah, with the lights on, the, uh, some nice LED lighting there, it all looks very pretty. So, very happy with those and look forward to getting them custom mounted. We've also installed a drive-by-wire accelerator pedal, which replaces the original accelerator pedal. Uh, there's no clutch and there's no gear stick, you'll see, so there's a lot more room around the footwells area. We still have that handbrake, but we may be able to fit a nice custom console down the middle there in between the passenger and driver and that's about it for this quick update so make sure to tune in next time to see us driving it on the road cheers